Hi there. We're going to continue today with our travels to India. And this time, we're going to focus on elephants. I have a wonderful painted elephant here. I have a whole collection of elephant toys and beautifully painted elephants. Do you know that in India, for special occasions, they decorate the elephants. They put on special blankets and jewelry, and they even paint the elephant itself. In fact, for her birthday one year, my sister, instead of receiving a birthday card, received a birthday elephant with happy birthday written on it just for her. So, what we're going to do next is we are going to make our own painted elephants of India using these elephants for inspiration. Stay tuned and I'll show you how. So that for this project you're going to need the following. Your sketchbook or a piece of white paper, a planning pencil, a sharpie marker, works great. Um, you will also need something to add color. You can use your colored pencils, you can use your markers, or if you want you could use your watercolor paints. So let's get started. The first thing we are going to have to do is really look at a picture of an elephant. That's helpful. So I hope you noticed in that picture that the shapes that you see in the elephant. And that's what we're going to draw first are the shapes. We're going to start with the ear. There's the middle of the paper, a little bit to the right of the middle. We're going to draw a big leaf shape. That's what I'm going to use for my ear. Then his head comes over a little bit like that. And this long trunk goes down. I think of a long vacuum cleaner hose. Comes up like this. And I'm going to stop right here by the ear. I'm going to do a little bit of the elephant's cheek. I'm going to add his tusk. And there I am. I have a little space here, which would make a nice eye. And now I am going to do the elephant's body. Right here, under his cheek, the line comes down. And he has nice fat legs that go over like this. I'm going to do, come up here at this ear and do his long body. He has a big rump, another leg. So this elephant only has two legs. So if you want to show his other legs, you can put a little shape there. And this one's going to reach out here. So I have my elephant. Now it's time to decorate. First, I'm going to maybe add one of those fancy blankets. I am going to sort of divide it up into sections that I can fill with pattern. I mustn't forget his little elephant toenails. You get the idea. Stay tuned. I will show you how I divide it into shapes and then fill those shapes with pattern. So now it's time to fill it with color, and you decide what you like working in best. I think today I will use some pencils and also maybe some markers. Sometimes you can use a little bit of everything. So just make sure when you're coloring it in, you press down to get nice rich color. So here I'm going to press down and then maybe fade it out. You can also sometimes put one color over another. Let's say I had a blue pencil. Over the top, I could put some green dots. You'll find out what shows up the best. Take your time to do a beautiful job, and I am going to show you how mine turns out. And fast forward. So have fun decorating your elephant. You might even, if you have time and feel like it, even add a fancy border. But take your time to do a good job. And when you're all done, don't forget to send me a picture of your work. I can't wait to see it.